Peace and welcome. This is my pendulum crash course. And I wanted to put something together that's really quick, maybe like five minutes, five to 10 minutes, um, because I just put together the clear and protect box that I'm gonna be offering ongoing. So it comes with a very small grid and some sage and a selenite wand. And these items were all selected so that somebody who was kind of new to gridding and using crystals could create a clear space, whether that's their office, their house, or wherever it is that they want to protect. So that being said, if you purchased this box, then you did receive a pendulum with your box. And I'm going to give you a crash course on how to use that pendulum. So when I first learned how to use a pendulum, I learned with a paper clip and a piece of string. So I'm telling you that to let you know that you don't have to go spend a bunch of money on a fancy pendulum with an expensive crystal in it. You can use, if you're wearing a necklace, you can use anything that's on a chain. So you could actually take your necklace off and use that as a pendulum. Or you can purchase a crystal that's been wrapped with the intention of being used as a pendulum. It will have a little hanger like this that you can put a chain and I just have a cheap ball chain through this one, clear quartz. And the other one I use quite often, this one's moonstone. So there's two basic pendulums. So there's two main ways that I use my pendulum. One is for a yes, no answer. So a lot of times if I just wanna know something quickly, like should I eat this donut or is it gonna rain on Thursday or something like that, then I use my pendulum for a yes, no answer. Now, when you get a new pendulum, you want to what we call program your pendulum so that he knows what language you want him to use to speak to you. For instance, when I first got this pendulum, I would say, um, pendulum, this is yes, and then I'll swing it in a clockwise direction. Pendulum, this is no, counterclockwise. And I also do pendulum, this is yes, up and down, and this is no, side to side. So now my pendulum knows what I expect from him and how he can clearly communicate with me. Now the other way to use the pendulum is to read energy. So this is in a physical space. When I do house clearings, I use my pendulum to read the energy in different areas of the house. Um, if I'm checking somebody's physical body, their aura, their chakras, I will use the pendulum over each chakra to get a reading of the quality of the energy there. So typically I use the rule that clockwise is a healthy spin and counterclockwise there's some kind of um, disturbance going on, it's going backwards. Um, you also look for the shape and the movement. So is this pendulum moving smoothly in a circle or is it kind of wobbling a little bit? Is it a perfect circle shape or is it maybe a little bit more elliptical? So you'll see these in the patterns of the movement and you'll also learn how to feel it in your hand. So you'll learn when the pendulum is going really smooth and then sometimes when it's got some hiccups, you can feel that there's um, some kind of an energy disturbance there and that's what we're going to clear. Okay, so if you have your pendulum, whatever you're going to use, let's use it. Um, start by programming your pendulum if you haven't done that already. And I just gave you two examples. So you can use the examples I gave you, counterclockwise and clockwise, or up, down, side to side. You can use both. Um, you can do something else that I've never heard of, maybe, and that's great too. Um, so once you get your pendulum programmed specifically for the clear and protect box. When you're clearing an area, so doorways always have significant importance because they are portals between areas and can sometimes um, get an energy blockage there. So I would go to my doorway, place my hand in the doorway with my left receiving hand, and then I just hold my pendulum. And you wanna start your pendulum still and then just let it start getting its its movement there. So you see it's going and it's starting to go in a little circle because I'm not really, there's nothing here. <laughs> okay. So we have a nice clockwise even circle going on. 
And that tells me that the energy in this specific spot is pretty balanced. Now, if you do get a counterclockwise reading or um, any notion of, of a disturbance or imbalance, that's when you want to run your energy in or you want to bring in your crystal grid, such as the one I have behind me. So I do have my little sacred space here. So I could take my pendulum over the grid and check the energy of the grid. And it's hard to see from your angle, but I've got a good clockwise circle going here. Okay, so that's typically how I use my pendulum. If you have any questions about that, feel free to send me an email, lovelavenderlane at gmail.com. Or you can check out my website for more instructional videos that are also on my YouTube channel. So thanks for tuning in for this pendulum crash course. And I hope you enjoy your clear and protect box. Namaste.